Okay, year 12, so it's plugged in, yep. All right, so this is uh, the first video on exercise 9b, and we're looking uh, now at differentiation of polynomials by rule. So I'm just gonna go through our key skills, which are effectively our success criteria, okay? So by the end of um, the couple of videos that you'll have on 9b, you'll be able to find the derivative of a polynomial by following the rule. You'll be able to find the gradient of the tangent at a given point. Um, you'll be able to find the angle of a tangent line that the tangent line makes with the x-axis. This is something that can be a little bit tricky. And you'll be able to identify an interval on which a function is strictly increasing or strictly decreasing. So these are essentially four main things we're going to be practicing. Um, and we start with the, uh, the rule for finding the derivative of a function. If the function is in the form f of x equals x to the power of n, um, and n in this case is uh, an integer, okay? So if I've got f of x equals x to the power of n, where n is an integer, then my derivative f dash of x is n times x to the power of n minus one. In other words, I take the, the power of the original function and I, it becomes a constant out the front, and then I subtract one from the power and that's the new power of the derivative. All right, a couple of properties. Now, I know you've done that last year. It's not new, but you'll need more practice on it. So these are some properties. Firstly, um, if I am deriving a constant, f of x equals c, where c is some constant, then f dash of x equals zero. For example, f of x equals six, f dash of x equals zero. If I've got a multiple such as k times g of x, then when I find the derivative, that uh, k is multiplied by the derivative. So for example, if I'm finding the derivative of x squared, it's going to be 2x. If I find the derivative of 3x squared, it's going to be 3 times the derivative of x squared. So 3 times 2x, which is 6x. Sum and difference, uh, I need this because I don't often find the derivative of simple power functions. I'm often looking at polynomials such as um, f of x equals x cubed plus 2x plus 1. So if I add two uh, functions together to get f of x, then I add the derivative of each term to find the derivative of f, all right? And the same works. I've said some or difference. If that was a subtraction, it works the same way. All right, let's do some examples. So my first example, find the derivative function of f of x equals 5x cubed minus 2x squared plus x minus 16. This is revision for you guys from last year. So I'm going to multiply these two numbers together. This is the power of the original function and the um, coefficient of the original function. So f dash of x is going to be 15 times x and then I subtract one from my power squared minus that's not going to be affected um, I'll multiply those together 2 times 2 gives me 4 x take 1 from the power that's 1 I wouldn't actually normally write the 1 um, same thing here the power here is 1 the coefficient is 1 so I've got plus 1 times something the power is 1 if I subtract 1 from that I get x to the power of 0 which is 1 so really here I've got 1 times 1, which is 1. This is a constant. The derivative of constant is 0, so there's nothing else. Okay? All right. So 